Hello YouTube, I'm Jean and welcome to CryptoPix. Today we are going to talk about my PTMG analysis of an upcoming ICO, WANCHAIN. This analysis is unique because it's actually my first time doing the analysis on an ICO. So what is PTMG? It's the project idea, the problems they solve, the potential for generating revenue, one of the most important parts of the team, the marketing the team will do or have been doing, the market cap, the short and long-term goals of the project. And as stated earlier, today's analysis is on the ICO WAN chain. So the project idea, WAN chain wants to be a distributed financial platform that enables private cross blockchain smart contract execution by building a distributed infrastructure of digital assets to form an improved modern framework using the latest cryptographic theories to build a non-proprietary cross-chain protocol and a distributed ledger that records both cross-chain and intra-chain transactions. Uh, in case you don't know what non-proprietary or distributed ledger is, I gave a little definition right here in italics and a smaller, smaller text. So within WANCHAIN, any institution or individual can set up their own virtual teller window in the quote bank and provide services such as loan orientation, asset exchanges, credit payments, and transaction settlements based on digital assets. So to summarize it all up, WANCHAIN is a distributed super financial market for digital assets based on the blockchain. It is an infrastructure connecting different digital assets Within this infrastructure, financial services based on different digital services can be carried out in a distributed way, forming a financial market composed of different business providers, application developers, and clients. Supposedly, it's super similar to Ripple. I have not done this analysis on Ripple yet, but that's pretty much what every, 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 everything that I'm seeing on YouTube, people are just saying it's super similar to Ripple, Chinese version of, of Ripple. So what problems is WANCHAIN trying to solve? They seek to give disadvantaged people and small enterprises worldwide better access to financial systems and low cost financial services. And they give a great example on their, on their white paper. So common investors can only buy relatively low end financial products from major financial organizations and cannot participate in early stage investment of technology companies such as Google or Alibaba before they are listed. So basically the, the huge companies that have the huge potential, the Apple, the Google, the Microsoft, us small people can't, can't get in on that. So despite having good credit and outstanding performance, many small and medium sized enterprises are not the target clients of traditional banks under the 80-20 law which banks see that majority of their money will be made by big enterprise loans than the small, more risky businesses. So it's difficult for these smaller entities to obtain loans. They're basically saying they're trying to make it for everybody has the same opportunity to get financial services, loans, etc., that the big enterprises are getting. So the potential for generating revenue. WAN coin is the native coin of WAN chain. Both cross and intra chain transactions consume a certain amount of WAN coin. So WAN coin is also used in security deposits for the cross chain verification nodes. The more transactions are involved within the WAN chain platform, the greater value carried by WAN coin. So probably my most favorite part is the team. This is probably the most superstar studded team I have ever seen on a project. So first, Jack Liu is the founder of Wang Chain. He's the co-founder of Factum in 2014. Also founded Waglu Tech, which brings blockchain tech to a greater range of applications. Total superstar for sure. And you can kind of tell who I think is a superstar and who's a star by the size of the, the, the star. So superstar, just a normal star, star, superstar, superstar. You'll kind of get be able to gauge my opinion based off of that. Next up is Dustin Byington. He's the global head of investment and business development. Dustin has definitely been in the business of, of pretty much finding businesses <laughs> and, and co-founding businesses. He founded a biz, 
Bitcoin College in 2014, and he co-founded Tendermint in 2015. He founded Satoshi Talent and Stockings of Venture Capital. So I made him a star. Uh, nothing that stood out to me personally to make him a superstar. Next is Welch Zhuao. He founded High Shares Exchange. He's a security advisor to Hyperledger. He's the deputy or was the deputy secretary general of Europe, China, Culture and Economy Commission and has about 20 years of experience in investment, business management and government relationship. So I didn't get this guy a star, but I mean, he's pretty much as close to a star as you could probably be. Uh, after reading his, his description again, maybe I should have. Next is Zane Ling. <laughs> Zane Ling, I'm not sure if that's his name. Science team lead, he has more than 20 years of theoretical and engineering research and uh, development experience. It has several team, or he has led several teams in the ultra performance computing field. He's a star in my opinion. Then there's Zing, Zing Zang, <laughs> was the senior engineer for Huawei, which is pretty much China's Apple. He was a senior developer of Ethereum, obviously one of their super blockchain tech guys <laughs> he's a superstar in my opinion next is tony zang he's a science team member phd in mathematics focused on cryptography public t cryptography based on identity uh, encryption theory it's basically their guy who will be designing the wan chain cryptographic algorithms i didn't give him a superstar star just because there wasn't anything that stood out i mean he has a phd in mathematics but in terms of work experience nothing that stood out to me Next is Demond Bay. He's also a science team member. Similar, similar academic to Tony, he is responsible for blockchain privacy and algorithm design, has successfully designed a number of blockchain related algorithms. No star or superstar there. Next is Michael Y. It's just what they have there. He's a senior engineer, uh, entered blockchain space in 2012, specializes in Bitcoin related development was a core developer at Mastercoin, Omni, and Factum. Therefore, I gave him a superstar. Finally for this is Eric Swartz. He's a senior engineer, worked at Novel, Vitel, Active Power, Extreme Power, pretty much been a software engineer from 1990 to 2002, then a technical writer from 2004 to 2016. So I pretty much had to raise the requirements to be a star and a superstar for this team just because they all just had such great experience. So more of their team, we got Payush Mita. He is the senior engineer, former senior engineer at Dell and AT&T. Therefore, I gave him a superstar. We got James Shen, another senior engineer, worked as chief engineer at General Motors and HP. So basically gave him a superstar. I'm gonna kinda, kinda wrap them up a little quicker just cause there's just so many people. Next we have Shang Feng Chen, another senior engineer, PhD in electrical engineering product design at a few companies and design engineer for NXP semiconductors. So I gave him a star. I wasn't too sure for this guy. I ended up giving him a star. We have Richard Zing, a senior engineer, 20 years of development experience and a senior engineer at Huawei, superstar there. Jeffrey Wu, senior engineer, served as senior engineer at Cisco and Dell, another superstar. Ning Lao, senior engineer, PhD in physics and computer science, served as chief software engineer at Max Point and Lumerous. I did not give him a star or superstar just because I, I'm, I'm personally not familiar with those companies. We have Kathy New, senior engineer, served as chief engineer and architect at HP, therefore gave her a superstar. Wen Yang Kin, he, this guy has no title, seems to be in line with the senior engineer section though. He worked at IBM. Therefore, I gave him a star. Astro Sun. This guy has very little information. It just describes which uh, programming languages he is proficient in. And finally, wrapping up the team. I know this team is huge, so it's taken me a while. So I'm trying to kind of speed it up for the, the last. We got Boris Yang. He's the product lead. He has limited information. Basically, he moved to the blockchain after he was a senior consultant and entrepreneur. Uh, Lizzie Liu, marketing lead was the marketing director for, for several years at, at a few different companies. Justin S Snyder, strategic advisor. He's co-founder of Decentranet. That's really all that they have for him. Oliver Birch, community manager, project manager for several startup companies. 
nothing big. Ethan Parker, he has no title, but over 15 years of Silicon Valley experience in media relations. So I gave him a star for that. So altogether, this team has eight superstars and six stars, which is literally the most impressive team I have seen so far for an ICO and just kind of a, a company in general that I've at least uh, analyzed. So, so far, this team is amazing. That's all I can say. So their advisors, I'm going to do this one quick. The really the big one that stood up to me was David Johnston. He's the chairman of Factum. I thought that was big. Everyone else, I'm sure these guys are all great. I just, their team was just so great that the advisors I'm sure are great too. I just don't want to spend too much time on this part. Now with their marketing, basically they have a Telegram. Uh, they use Telegram purely for announcements. You can't talk, you can't ask questions on there. They have a Reddit, which has active members of the community quickly responding to questions on there. Uh, if you look at it, it's super active. Their Twitter is active with updates, as you can see, eight hours ago, 12 hours ago, September 29th. They're, they're definitely doing updates with announcements and, and it's, it's super active. Their Slack was super active, but got disabled with the upcoming ICO just to prevent scammers. Their Facebook looks pretty much as active as Twitter. So in my opinion, they're actually pretty active in marketing. Pretty much what I expect from any company that's having an ICO. Their market cap, so they have 107 million circulating supply. This is what they'll be selling at their ICO. Their total supply is 210 million. As you can see here, 107, total supply 210 million. So with their whitelist, it shows that they have a cap of 6.8 ether per person. Week one, you get 880 WAN per ether. Week two, 790 WAN per ether, and then week three, 750 WAN per ether. This starts on October 3rd. Actually, it starts tomorrow. So if you are on the ICO, you can make a decision soon. For the gold, it's October 3rd and 4th. You don't really get anything special. Oh, okay, you have the cap of 6.8. And then after that, you have from the 4th to the 11th to get this deal of 15% off. So you, so you have some time, and then it goes from the 11th to the 18th, and then the 18th to the 25th. So something that kind of confuses me is their market cap that they're trying to achieve. So if you average it out, if every token was sold on week one, that equals 36 million market cap. If you average it with week two, just because I was, I mean, I felt like that was a good average, 40 million. And then if everybody bought on week three, which obviously is going to be the case, that's 42.8 million, but their white paper, this is where it gets confusing. Their white paper goals shows that they want $30 million USD. It's obviously a big difference in terms of we were trying to get a gain, get good gains, 30 million compared to 40 million. I mean, the potential is huge here. I'm expecting it in the billions. So it's not going to throw me, throw me off to want to participate. I'm, I'm still wanting to jump in, whether it's 30 or 42. So next is their short and long-term goals. So 2017, this year, October, is their ICO, the crowdfunding that's happening this month. November, so WANChain 1.0 will be launched. WANChain wallets, smart contracts, functionality will, with privacy protection will be completed and WANChain will be released. So the, the catch to this, this is when the ICO token holders can download the official wallet and exchange the crowdfunded tokens for, for WANChain. Or maybe it's supposed to say WANCoin. You're not, you're not supposed to like sell the coins or be able to exchange the coins until the actual 1.0 is launched. I know this is throwing some people off. I actually don't mind it because I'm not trying to just make a quick buck. 2018 in June, WANChain 2.0 will be launched. Ethereum cross-chain trading will be available. 2.0 protocol will be online and the multi-currency wallet will be online. December, about a year from now, WANChain 3.0 will be online. Bitcoin cross-chain trading will be available and 2.0 protocol will be online. Multi-currency wallet 2.0 will be online. And then 2019, pretty far away. They don't have a specific month. 4.0 will be online. Cross-chain trading is available. 3.0 cross-chain protocol online and multi-currency wallet 3.0 is online. 
So they have pretty direct goals in terms of they're just showing when the platform is getting launched. They don't really have the smaller goals that a lot of companies show. This, I'm sure, will be updated once the ICO is out and they just get a better idea what's going on. So to summarize WANChain, to me, this has huge and amazing potential. And it's the most hyped ICO for me. I'm excited about the potential. People I know and I talk to personally are super excited for this, this potential. Many people compare WANChain to Ripple, and we all see how big Ripple is right now in terms of market cap. Once WANChain becomes popular, WAN coin increases in value. Therefore, getting an early is priority for me specifically. I expect huge, huge things from this company. They have the idea and the they definitely have the team to succeed. So invest wisely and do your research. I want to thank everyone for watching. I know this coin was a little bit confusing also. It took me actually quite a while to research this. I wanted to get this information out since there's not very much information on WANChain and I think this one has huge potential. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please click that like button on the bottom right. Subscribe. I really appreciate it. Any feedback is super appreciated. I'll see you next time.